In your experience, any good frameworks to know besides Bootstrap? Uh, oh yeah, AB, React, Angular, those are all frameworks. <laughs> those are all frame. Well, React is like a library, but it's like a framework. I'll put a notepad so you can see what I'm thinking. So frameworks, right? You have your front end stuff, right? Front end, you know, you can have your bootstraps for stuff for, for, uh, for um, like CSS and, and React, React.js, Angular. Okay, let me write this. Okay, so first thing you have HTML, CSS, and I'll tell you like, this is kind of the order I learned it but I think it's good overall. So HTML, CSS, JavaScript, right? You have these at the beginning, your basics, basics of uh, web development. But you want to first learn about how the web works, right? How does the web work? And there are a lot of YouTube videos on this. YouTube videos, you just, just search, literally search this <laughs> sentence on YouTube. And then once you learn a bit of, oh, like web is like, there's like packets, like from my computer, it, like when I type something, it. You know, send something, send a packet to like the, the internet and the internet send a packet to the other computer. Like just get a, like a very high level overview, abstract overview of, you know, how the web works. Uh, then you want to this, for the specifics, you have, you have your HTML, JavaScript, CSS. This is for front end stuff, UI, right? User interface and also TypeScript, which is a variation of JavaScript. So you have your TypeScript and then uh, what else? Yeah, so these are kind of like the beginner stuff, foundational work you could do. And right after this, you can do some uh, frameworks, right? Frameworks, libraries. Bootstrap is very easy if you know CSS. Uh, it's like an easier version of CSS, basically. And then you have React, Angular. React and Angular are both uh, JavaScript, TypeScript. So they're kind of just how you structure, right, your code. And then after this, uh, you can look into backend, right? Backend, you can look into REST APIs, REST APIs. Build one. Many tutorials on this. Many tutorials online. Build a REST API to-do list. Then you have languages for backend. PHP, uh, JavaScript, TypeScript. For, this is like uh, Node.js, right? Uh, Node.js, and you have your Java Classic, Java Spring. That's a framework. Okay, Java is a language, Java Spring is a framework. And you have your C Sharp um, ASP.NET framework for C Sharp web development. Uh, what else do you have? You have Python Django, or you, you can use Flask, you can use Fast API, all frameworks for Python backend. Um, then you can learn how to deploy your apps, right? Deploy your apps, you can use free services like Heroku. Um, you can use AWS, Azure, you can use your student credits. Maybe you can get those for free if your university has that. So, you know, you can build, you can start building your front end, your little app, then you can add a back end to it, to-do list, some functionalities. And after this, you might want to learn how to deploy it and host it on the actual interwebs. I don't know why I said interwebs, on the internet. Uh, and then you can, you can learn some Docker, right? To, Containerization, containerization, Docker containers, which help you deploy. This is part of, okay, let me let me put this in CI CD. So CI CD, right? You can learn how to test your code, right? Unit testing. You, what's the difference between uh, unit testing, uh, you know, integration testing, end-to-end -end testing, you know, learn some of that. And this, for different languages, there are different stuff like uh, PyTest, whatever, all kinds of different stuff for testing. And then you can learn about uh, Docker, which I said previously, containerization, right? And then you can learn about architecture, right? Architecture. What is a monolithic application? What is a monorepo? What is a microservice architecture? And then you can have, you can learn about design patterns. <laughs> it never ends, guys. It never ends. You can learn about dependency injection, right? This is highly used uh, a lot in, uh, in, the, in every code base. Uh, you can learn about um, composite. This is not really a design pattern. 
you know learn your theoretical shit this is this should go first right theoretical things will help you a lot you know learn about all your stuff you learn in school right op composition composition is like inheritance but it's not like inheritance but it, it, it's, it's it's like inheritance inheritance is vertical right this class inherits from this class composition is horizontal and this is very common in web development i right? react angular pa passing props around uh these are some cool word words yes ayoko <laughs> Uh, all right, let me see what you guys are talking about. College in Belgium was fun for the party aspect of it. Curriculum wise, it's basically the same all over EU, but US was a lot more fun and customizable. Oh, is EU's curriculum uh, like pretty standard standardized across like countries? Those Java courses seem lame. I, I thought they were pretty nice because when you first learn about object oriented programming, I think it's pretty cool. Like you learn about polymorphism and stuff like that, like some cool words and you're like, what the hell does this mean? What's your biggest, best personal coding project on your resume? It's it's probably my uh, machine learning one. Like basically I built like a ML bot to determine like Reddit threads on Wall Street bets. <laughs> but it's not really, I, I haven't hosted it. I, I made like a temporary website. Um, do you think it's better to specialize in one language or better to diversify? Uh, you have to diversify one day. Like you start off with one language, but like, it's like you almost like you have to, you know, you have to learn multiple ones, but it's better if you, you know, spe like, you know, one better than others, right? You want to have a specialty. In what order do you recommend, uh, learning coding languages? It kind of depends on the situation. Like if you need to uh, get a job really quickly or something, but I, I feel like it's better if you start learning from low level languages. All right. I think, I think that's, that's pretty much it. I'll, I'll say for today. Maybe I'll add some more next time. But I think we, we need to start playing the game. What the hell? <laughs> I can't give you guys all everything today.